what are you really looking for from the Penn State Nittany Lions that you're in your one of roads? I, you know, I think it's just such a hard job to judge in year one. I'll put that out there first. I wouldn't necessarily use Penn, his Penn State experience as the sign that Mike Rhodes is a bad coach, but you can use it to show that Mike Shrewsbury is a good coach just because it's so hard to win in state college, right? But in terms of year one, I, don't, I do think they have a decent roster, especially considering how much they lost when you look at people like Jalen Pickett, Seth Bundy, Andrew Funk, right? All three all have NBA uh, contracts at this point, whether that's in the pro, in the main league or the G League or or whatever like that. But like, there's just a ton that this play that this team lost, and they do bring in some solid pieces. Most notably, Ace Baldwin, clearly uh, VCU's best player last year, in my opinion. Right? There's a couple of arguments for other players, but I mean, Baldwin ran that show, and he's going to run the show at in, in State College as well. Um, another interesting player is Rayquandis Mitchell. I think that he it'll be hard to see how his production transfers from Kansas City all the way up to the Big Ten, but he can score the ball, right? Everyone knows this about, about Mitchell at this point. And then one player that I don't have on this slide, but I find to be a little bit intriguing, is actually DeMarco Dunn, transferred from North Carolina. Uh, Penn State actually has two of them here on the roster along with Puff Johnson. But, but DeMarco Dunn really didn't play all that much in Chapel Hill, but he has a chance maybe to break out in year one like we said, under Rhodes and show his potential as a pretty highly rated recruit coming out of high school. Totally agree with that last point or pretty much all the points you made, but that last point I definitely did mark down. Yeah. Ace Baldwin, he's a real hooper. I, I can't emphasize this enough. The A-10 player of the year last year, I did not think he deserved it, but he was definitely the second best player in the A-10 last year. Absolutely just a stud on both ends, the twelve. 0.7 points per game, 5.8 assists per game, 2.2 steals per game. So he got it done. And just one negative note I want to say on Penn State, a theme I notice with this team is low efficiency pretty much throughout their roster at their previous spots. It starts with Raekwondis Mitchell, for example, who – had 17.3 points per game at Kansas City, which is very good, but field goal percentage was 34.5. I think another guy that fits that mold, we haven't mentioned him yet, but Zach Hicks from Temple, high volume, low efficiency guy. Hopefully everybody could really fit into their assigned roles here at Penn State, maybe, but I'm not sure I have quite that amount of faith in Rhodes as a head coach. So we're going to project them 10th in the Big Ten. That's pretty much where I see them. 